we have made a positive start to life in the Premier League. But that brings us to today. Arsenal and our former team, Barnsley. So following on from our opening day victory against West Brom, we then beat Fulham at home 2-1. We actually went 1-0 down. Mitrovic put them in for 47 minutes in, but Stanko and Damien got two goals in the second half to give us the win. Next up was a 2 all draw at home against Watford. A disappointing 89th minute penalty, stealing the three points for us. Damien and Mercado getting the goals in this one. We played a pretty heavily rotated side against Premier League opposition Wolves in the League Cup second round and absolutely stuffed them. James Folds, our uh, Scottish striker, getting a goal in the 10th minute. Stanko with one, Alexi with a brace. Fantastic stuff. We then went away from home against Villa back in league action and won 2-1. And we again went 1-0 down. Uh, Xavier, their centre-half, scoring in the 45th minute. But Alexi and Dvorak getting goals in the second half. We had to play the final 10 minutes after Devorak got sent off with 10 men, but thankfully we held on. A disappointing result this one, 2-1 defeat away from home against Southampton, and of course they are newly promoted alongside us. James Garner, our former man, got uh, player of the match, which is great to see. Uh, Mercado had put us in front 38 minutes in, but two second half goals meant we fell to defeat in this one. <laughs> and then we beat Manchester United, because of course you do. At home, 3-1, Heffen and Holland, Alexi and Damien with the goals. They got a late consolation through Senges under in the 84th minute, but beating one of the best sides in the league, I'll take it every day. Our rotated side couldn't get us through the League Cup third round, though we faced championship opposition in Nottingham Forest and got beat 3-2. Rogerio Santos and Acaro were the goals for us, but they went 3-1 uh, up after we took the lead initially, and we, we weren't at the races today. And finally, we fell to a 2-0 defeat at home against league leaders Spurs, Raheem Harper and Phil Fodden with the only goals. No real standout performance from us. It was a poor day at the office. But that sees the Premier League table looking like this. We currently sit in 7th position on 13 points after 7 games. I would, I would have bit your hand off for that at the start of the season. Usually the first 10 or 15 games, you're just finding your feet. Your team's getting used to the tactic, gelling together. But um, we're doing pretty well for that process to still be happening. But of course, today's episode is against title holders Arsenal and our former side at Barnsley. Arsenal, I believe, is away from home and Barnsley is at home. So let's get straight into the match. Pretty much a full strength side from us. Dvorak, our centre-half, is injured. So he's not available for today's game. And Petra, our starting centre midfielder, has been injured for about four weeks. So he's missed most of them games that you've just seen. Um, so, but apart from that, we are at full strength. Adamir in goal, Stankovic, Santos, Mercado, and Daly in the defence. Ikaro and Montag in the central positions with Rabek, Stankor, Heffen and Holland, and Damian Leiden at the line. So, obviously, not really expecting anything out of this game. Away from home against the title holders. As long as we don't get stuffed, I'll be pretty pleased with pretty much anything that happens. We are going to go off the attacking team mentality straight away onto the cautious one and try and hit them on the counter. First highlight of the game comes 11 minutes in. We're in possession in their final third. Montag plays the ball in, it's clear by Tini. Ikaro can uh, retain possession for us though and find Stankovic on the right hand side. He overlaps again. Is he going to whip this ball in? He hasn't got the best crossing, but uh, oh, gets dispossessed by Tini. But Bavrabek picks up the ball, Stankovic again. There's a lot of bodies around him, but he gets past two. He whips the ball in. Hel oh yes, Heffern and Holland. His second goal of the season puts us 1-0 up, 12 minutes in. And I don't think we could have asked for much of a better start than that. Some great work down the right-hand side by Stankovic and Vrabek, despite heavy, heavy uh, pressure from the Arsenal defenders. Got a little bit fortunate there, Stankovic, but a good cross in. Holland's back post, easy header, 1-0. 20 minutes in now, and Arsenal are on the attack this time. Romario Barrow, <sighs> great strike. His second goal of the season. There's no saving that, Adam here, unfortunately for us. Arsenal level things up within 10 minutes. Oh, man, <laughs> what can you do against that? You can't do anything. I mean, Gury heads it down. Romario Barrow on the volley. Adam here gets close, but just not close enough. And we'd go level 1-1. Another highlight. Heffen and Holland picking up the ball in the centre of the park. They are closing us down well, so Mercado goes all the way back to the keeper. And we give the ball away very, very sloppily. Eddie Nketiah can come forward and go for goal. It's a poor strike in the end, but we shouldn't be giving possession away like that. 
it's a game once again now. I'll take a point. Um, if we can just shake hands on that. Arsenal have definitely come into this since we uh, took the lead initially. Free kick for us has played in. It's cleared Heffern and Holland. Finds Santos on the left-hand side. I'm not sure if he passed it there or it was just a ricochet off the defender. Stankwa uh, gets dispossessed by Saliba and we start again. Stankovic whips out the ball at the right-hand side for Vrabek. He gets past his man. He oh, Vrabek. Come on, son. You've got to be doing better than that. And that is it for the first half. Arsenal 1, Huddersfield 1. We will take that all, dear. Arsenal have not had the better of the highlights. More of the match stats, but... Um, I think we can safely say we deserve a 1-1 at this point. And again, another highlight, and we are in possession once more. Are Arsenal just sitting off us? It doesn't look like they are. They are pressing us, um, particularly when we are in the defensive areas. But I wasn't expecting us to have quite this much possession as, again, our goalkeeper gives the ball away and Arsenal are going to break. And Katia switches the play beautifully. The key is just over the top of Luke Daly, thankfully. Adamia is here to save the day. We are going to make a change. Um, we're going to tell our goalkeeper to distribute it to the fullbacks. He's given the ball away at least three times now that I've seen. Um, it's just not good enough. 60 minutes in now. Corner. I mean, Gury gets his 10th goal of the season. 10 already. We're only seven games in. <laughs> his 10th goal of the season. Puts Arsenal 2 1 up. 60 minutes in. We're not watching the replay. Changes are afoot. Alexi's coming on on that right-hand side for Vrabek. Um, other than that, is there anyone? Angel Dulce will bring on for Luke uh, Daly at the left-back spot as well. Another highlight, 67 minutes in now. Not long to go. Can we pinch this ball and force a counter? I don't think we can. Kies is in behind. Who were finishing by Arsenal today? There could be 4-1 up. <laughs> Free kick. Nabil Fekir is the man standing over it. He goes for goal. And he buries a top bins. His first goal of the season. Adam here. Can maybe do a bit better with that. We'll have to see the replay. But um, it looks like we're going to fall to a 3-1 defeat. At least in today's game. Fakir. It's a great free kick. Don't get me wrong. Adam here gets close. Ah, you never know. Maybe on another day he might have saved that. 10 minutes to go. We'll make our final change of the game. Heffern and Holland can come off for Calvert on that left hand side. We will go very at well attacking. For the final few minutes or so. We get ourselves a free kick. Dulce goes close. We'll stick with this corner though. Ikaro is going to be the man to take it. Saliba gets it clear. Kovacic clears. And that's the end of that. A few minutes to go. Time is just ticking away. And we have fell to a 3-1 away defeat. Expected. Um, it's not a bad performance from us really. To take the lead. And the amount of possession that we had was pretty surprising. And the highlights particularly in the first half were in our favour rather than Arsenal's, but they have turned on the quality in the second. And is that our third defeat in the league this season so far? I think it is. Maybe we'll have better luck against Barnsley. We are sitting in ninth, they are sitting in tenth. We are at home. Let's give it a go. So we are back for the Barnsley game. We are at full strength. Dvorak returns, Petra returns, everyone else. Uh, Platt comes in on the right-hand side for um, Vrabek. Uh, other than that, everything else as it was. Oh. Dulce comes in on the left-hand side for Luke Daly as well. Uh, Daly's on the bench for today's game. So, Barnsley. It's been a while. Capaldo playing right wing-back. That's a new one. He's a decent right wing-back. Uh, any other my guys here? Tony Herrero playing at centre-back. Um, he's, he's developed quite nicely, hasn't he? Three and a half million pounds well spent there. Uh, Joaquin Sanchez, of course. Our left-back was signed whilst we were still there. One of the best players at the club, I believe. Uh, Montaneu is still there, uh, banging the goals in, no doubt. Three goals this, so far this season. He was top scorer in the Premier League. Fausto Vera, our former man as well, currently wanted by China. <laughs> One of the Chinese clubs are after him, so no doubt Barnsley will earn quite a bit of money from that sale. Let's get a kick off. Remove the nostalgia. We need to smash them. And whether we smash them or not is uh, entirely up in the air. A highly doubt it's going to happen as we pick up with the first highlight here it's Barnsley on the attack Alvaro Morata getting his head on that going just over the bar another highlight now this time it's us coming down the right hand side Stankovic whips the ball in Heffern and Holland gets his head on it's easily saved by the keeper so that makes me think oh my dears there was more to this highlight <laughs> oh god god's truth I mean I've seen that a few times this year Damien Maillard gets his most fortunate goal he will ever get in a Huddersfield town shirt. Valdez, the goalkeeper. I have no idea why he does this. He just boots the ball off Damien. Damien's completely unaware of it. 
and he puts us 1-0 up 11 minutes in. I will take it. Another highlight now, Stankovic again starting the play down the right-hand side, finding Terence, who uh, switches the play to Heffern and Holland. He's got the overlap with Dulce if he needs him. He doesn't. Damien is there. Oh, he's talking. He's been taken down. Wacky Manderson, get that penalty taken. No need for a review. It has been given. Who is going to be the man who steps up to take it? It's going to be Dvorak. Uh, have I sorted my penalty takers this season? I don't know if I have. Dvorak, it doesn't matter. He buries it. Our centre-half steps up. Takes the penalty, gets his second goal of the season after his return from injury. And he puts us 2-0 up inside 16 minutes against our former club. I, uh, I'm so It's a bittersweet. It's a bittersweet feeling. Half of me wants to beat them 10-0. Half of me sort of wants to split the points. But me loyalty is to Huddersfield now. Barnsley, I can't. I can't hold any... Uh, uh, I don't know. Even, not even sure what to say there. Compassion for you, I guess. Once we play each other. We'll pick up with the highlight though. Platt gives the ball away to Joaquin Sanchez. Tony Herrero switches the play to the right-hand side. They're playing some dodgy stuff, Barnsley. And Heffern and Holland is the man who pinches the ball. Stanko to Petra. Finds Dulce on the left-hand side. Nice play by us to keep possession. Heffern and Holland bringing the ball forward. He's upended though and he gives the ball away to Zapelli. And it's three on two now. If they decide to take it, he goes by himself down the right-hand side. Gets to the byline. What's he going to do? He goes for goal. And completely wastes a perfect opportunity for Barnsley. I'd be raging. Only eight minutes to go in this first half. And Barnsley are on the attack down at the left-hand side. And they go all the way back to the goalkeeper. So maybe on the attack was a bit generous. But they do eventually regain possession with Joaquin Sanchez. Down the left. Platt gets in and tries to tackle him. He upholds him. But he doesn't win the ball. Foster Vera through to Montenegro. He does not miss from there. We all know that. He's not offside. Lewis Montenegro gets his fourth goal of the season. To bring things a bit closer between the two sides. Huddersfield 2, Barnsley 1. Oh, I mean, <laughs> it's great to see my two of my former boys combined. Fausto Vera and Montenegro. But um, I'd rather they didn't score. Dulce picks up a knock. So Luke Daly is going to have to make an early entrance into this game. I don't know if that substitute went through before half-time. We'll have to take a look. It did, thankfully. Kick off for the second half, though. The boys did a decent job in the first. Um, going 2-0 up, but... We're not performing particularly well as a team in terms of the average rating. But we'll we'll see how it goes for the second half. Capaldo picks up the ball on the right-hand side, whips it in. Mercado gets clear. Stanko helps it on just a little bit. But they're back on the attack with Capaldo again on the right-hand side. He gets past his man, goes for goal. And Adamea saves. Our two wingers are both having pretty poor games. So we're going to make our final two subs. Ian Calvert and Alexi is going to come on. I miss Alexi. I need to give him more game time when possible. Calvert with a free kick, plays in the back post. Dvorak gets his second goal of the game, his third goal of the season. And surely now that puts us a little bit too far out of reach for Barnsley. Calvert coming straight on and making an impact with his set piece. And Dvorak rising highest at the back post to give us the two goal cushion. 12 minutes to go. If Barnsley get a goal now, it would make it certainly interesting in the final 10 minutes. But Alexi's stretching his legs down the right hand side. Doesn't he look majestic? Um, he gets upended though, gets caught up by the Barnsley players and Stankovic offers some support overlapping on that right hand side. Whip the ball in back post, we've got two options there. He, he rides two challenges, Calvert is the man it goes to and it goes over the bar. Tell you what, Stankovic is just an absolute brute force. He doesn't beat players, he just runs through them. Three minutes to go, time is ticking away and it looks like we are going to get away with this one. Huddersfield 3, Barnsley 1, we beat our former side. And we take the three points today. Good stuff, lads. Good stuff. And at the end of today's episode, this is how the Premier League table stands. We currently sit in our sixth position, which is not too bad. Four points off the top. Uh, we're nine points away from the relegation zone. Top half is where we're aiming for. So three points above Barnsley still sitting in 10th. Um, we will take that all day long. It's been a good start of the season. Looking forward to the next episode then. When are we coming back? That's when we're coming back. Birmingham, I'm <laughs> going to play another former side. Birmingham at home, Manchester City away. Um, or do we want to play Liverpool? We'll see. We'll see. Whichever one's closest to us, we'll play either or. But Birmingham will definitely be next episode. They're currently sitting 17. I was impressed by their transfer business um, in the summer. But uh, doesn't seem to have done them too much good. But anyway, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.